What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? We are starting today's vlog off with Lizzie not even dressed. <laughs> She just got out of the shower, she's chilling in her robe for right now until her hair dries, I guess. Girls always do this. I've never done that once in my life. I should probably start. Why would you start? Because if my hair gets too long to the point, no, I might have to do that. No, because you like to do your hair when it's wet. That I, is true. I need mine to dry. And yeah. And I have longer hair, so this dries it. I just throw some product in my hair and I'm Gucci fan. I'm not. <laughs> I have really no idea what's going on for today. I'm gonna assume that Cody's probably gonna end up coming over like usual. And then later tonight, me and Lizzie are supposed to go out with my manager. He wanted to take me and Lizzie out to dinner. So that'll be happening around like 6.37ish. I just completely forgot that we had raspberry lemonade, but Lizzie picked it up yesterday. And if you guys saw the prank video, you'll know that she picked it up around that time. About to drink this entire container right now. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that, but this stuff is amazing. You know what's the craziest thing about vlogging? I've mentioned this before in one of my vlogs, but there's some days where I feel like I can get like almost an hour worth of footage that I can edit into like a 40 minute or 30 minute vlog. And then there's some days where it's like, I feel like I can barely get a 10 minute vlog. It's just so weird because there might be so much going on one day and then the next day there's like absolutely nothing. I mean, me and Lizzie have gone through this before where we just don't even know what to do. We just sit inside and we're like, what the hell do we do? We're just yeah. doing nothing. And try to do something different so you guys don't see us doing the same thing every day. Yeah. And I mean, that's what it kind of sucks. That's what, that's what I do like about like going and traveling to different places. Especially since I was in New Jersey for like the past two months, you guys get to see how I live out here in LA. But as you guys do know already, I usually don't like being in LA for like an extended period of time. I like being home with my family. So I don't know how long I'm gonna stay out here. Might be a month, might be two months, it might be two weeks, like nobody ever knows. I guess what it all depends on to me is how much fun or how much stuff I'm actually doing out here. If I'm just gonna be sitting inside my apartment all the time and I'm not really doing anything or not having fun, I'm probably gonna end up going back home. Or if like I start feeling depressed for some reason, that's usually my sign to go back home. What's going on here? I need you to clip this. You can't clip it? No, my nails won't let me. <laughs> there we go, you good now? Yep. Gotta let your hair dry. I know. Where you going? You got hot chocolate? Hot chocolate? Yeah, you want some? Nah, I'm good. They have like this Starbucks machine downstairs, is that where you go? Yeah. Did you get two hot chocolates? Because I want two. Oh, you want two? Unless you want one. No, no, no. I said I didn't want one. That's why I was confused on why you got two. <laughs> it smells like bubble gum in here. Bubble gum? Yeah, what does that smell? I don't know. Joe Maybe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> A bubble gum smelling butthole. That'd be nice. Because your ass smells terrible. You know what my butthole smells like? What? Flowers. Sight? <laughs> I don't understand this apartment. It is warm out here in the living room, but it is freezing cold in this area, which is my bathroom. And I look like a fucking lobster right now. I don't know why there's something wrong with my lighting on my camera. There we go, it just fixed itself. I know, and it was because when I got out of the shower, I was like, Ugh. Freezing cold. <laughs> you know, it probably has to do something with like the way the air conditioning is set up And also the fact that the sun beams on those windows all day long So it's probably creating heat. Shit man, it's cold in here We gotta start leaving these doors open more often so it can just like circulate throughout the apartment Lizzie's gonna take out the scooter if we can get out the door <laughs> Lizzie wants to head over to Dunkin Donuts to get something for breakfast So we're gonna head there now. She's bringing the scooter and I have my dead hoverboard with me I swear I'm gonna bust my ass. I'm so scared right now that I'm gonna bust my ass I keep forgetting to charge this thing. Damn, I gotta clean these shoes. We were stepping on all that sand last night and they're dirty as hell. It is so beautiful out today. I agree. Woo. Have you ever noticed like sometimes when I'm with somebody, I'll say something and then I'll look at that person like waiting for a response. I don't know why I always do that. It's weird. I always do that, don't I? Yes. And then if I don't get a response out of them, I'll just cut the clip. <laughs> a lot of people have been asking me um, if I have any merch out recently. And here's the thing, I don't, we did like a trial run of that one t-shirt and a lot of you guys seem to have liked it. But ever since then, we have never got any new merch made. But I'm actually going tomorrow morning to the same place which is Represent and we're gonna start creating some new merch for you guys. And I also ordered a bunch of those extra shirts that were made for me and my family, but I never received them yet. So when I go over there tomorrow, me, Lizzie, and the rest of my family will all be receiving the Lance 10 Airhorn shirts that I ordered like a month ago. I never got them yet. But I'm gonna have a bunch of mock-up designs 
created and then I will probably show you guys and get your opinions on it of which ones you like the best. I've never been into really having merch before. Um, I don't know, like I, I get this weird feeling that a lot of people aren't gonna like the merch or aren't gonna want it. So ultimately before I thought it was kind of just like a big waste of time. But when I showed you guys that one mock-up of the t-shirt before, a lot of you guys actually really wanted it. So that's the whole reason we put it on sale. But I constantly have people asking me all the time like when are you gonna release new merch Lance? So this is the whole reason we're gonna go back there and try and get some new merch made up for you guys. So we just got over to Dunkin Donuts so let's go in there and get some food. Wow, this place is packed. There's so many people in here. It's just such a small store too. <laughs> you probably can't see her, but Lizzie's standing in line right now. Um, I have to sit here and watch the board so nobody takes them. What are we waiting on? Bagel. So Lizzie just picked up a bunch of food from Dunkin' Donuts. I don't even know half the shit she got, but I know I got a corn muffin. That's about it. Why did you get too much stuff? I got more uh, donuts in case we want some later or tomorrow for breakfast. Oh, okay. And then you got a big old cream cheese. What did you just say? <laughs> Nothing. She said they know how to load me up. That sounded so wrong, man. I meant to put a lot of cream cheese on that. That sounded so wrong. <laughs> how the hell did that happen? Your I, strap broke? I literally went to sit down and I did that and it popped. That makes no sense. How? This is the second time that shit's happened. No fucking way. Are you kidding me? Why? Why are they doing this? Attention. Any emergency has There is no emergency. We got some Kevin Hart stand up going on. Yep. I already saw this though. So, <laughs> so you're just rewatching it? So Lizzie wants to go on an adventure today. Yes. So we're charging up the scooters. Get everything all ready. You know where to plug it in at? It's right here. Yeah. Open that up. There you go. All plugged in. This alarm is still going off. We closed all the doors. It is honestly so annoying. But I originally said that me and Cody should be hanging out today. I don't know if that's actually going to end up happening because he just called me on FaceTime saying that he got pulled over. And now he has to end up going to the DMV for something. Which going to the DMV takes like two or three hours of just sitting in there to get anything completed. That's exactly what happened to me. You guys remember, me and my mom were in there for like three and a half, four hours. It was terrible. And I already told Cody that we're probably only gonna be able to hang out until like 6 p.m. today anyway, because me and Lizzie have to go out to dinner. So by the time Cody actually got over here, it would be like almost time for us to leave. So probably just not gonna hang out today. So I think me and Lizzie are just gonna chill for a little bit, let those boards charge up, and we're also gonna hit the pool, because we didn't get to go in yesterday. And Lizzie really wanted to. Hit that hot tub. It's gonna be burning. Burning. It. What? Watch the exorcism. The exorcism. This has two stars <laughs> out of five. Probably not good. Okay. Would you rather? Great to Would you end? rather? I don't know. We're trying to figure out like what we want to watch on Netflix right now. No idea. Would you rather give up your vlogs or crap yourself for the rest of your life and crap. not be able to change yourself ever? So. Pretty much all of my vlog at that point would be like me just shitting, right? <laughs> so I'd just be like, hey, what's up, guy? <laughs> Fucking like <laughs> shit my brains out like every two seconds. I don't know. It would probably be like an interesting vlog for like maybe a week. You better not say give up your vlogs. <laughs> no, I'd never give up these vlogs. I love doing this shit. Good. But uh, yeah, let's figure out a movie we want to watch. Is that freaking Jimmy Neutron, man? Oh my gosh, I haven't seen that show in forever. <laughs> That's crazy. And Tarzan. We got the Lego show, I guess. Hey, Lego Adventures. Hey, Arnold, that's another throwback. I'm so mad I didn't bring any air horns out here because I can be getting Lizzie so many times. Like, she's outside right now. I could easily just bust out there with a fucking air horn and scare the shit out of her. I do have Nerf guns, though, but mm, not as effective. I have, like, 40 air horns at my house back in Jersey because you guys sent them to me. And it's hard for me to, like, use all those air horns up. I don't use them that often. And I wanted to bring two air horns out here, and I had them in my bag, but my mom didn't think it was a good idea because I don't know if they would, like, explode on the plane or something something because of the elevation because there's a bunch of co2 in that can and god forbid if it exploded on a plane it would just cause a lot of shit that i don't want to happen it's not that big of a deal though i can always go to like a sports authority or somewhere and buy it but lizzie is currently on the phone right now 
after she comes in, she always kept saying this and I keep forgetting about it, but she just brought it up again and she wants to play rock band. And I haven't played rock band since I was in my old apartment. So we're gonna set that up. Unfortunately, there isn't like too much room over here. So we're probably gonna have to pull the couch area back or move some stuff around, maybe the table. I don't know, honestly. But rock band is so fun. Like I love rhythm games. I used to be addicted completely to Guitar Hero, but recently they released a Guitar Hero where they changed all the keys around on the controller and I do not like that. So I'll just stick with rock band because I keep it the same. Not even trying to sound conceited when I say this, but I used to be so freaking good at Guitar Hero. Like if anybody tried versing me, I would literally destroy them in a 1v1. My fingers move so quick for some reason. I don't know. I just, I used to play all the time. I was addicted to that game. If any of you guys used to play Guitar Hero and you know the song Through the Fire and Flames, I used to play that song on Expert and like nail it every time. I was really good. And that's saying a lot because that was like one of the hardest songs in the game. Now I want to get 100% on that song. I would complete the song, but obviously I wouldn't sit there and hit every single note. I would hit the majority though. But that was going back a couple years ago. I'm nowhere near as good as I was back then, but I'm still pretty good. I'll show you guys some of the gameplay when me and Lizzie set everything up. This is why you hate pool vacuums, Lizzie. They think they're gonna party on you. Look at that. <laughs> pool vacuums doing fucking coke. All right, let's play. Alrighty, so instead of moving the entire couch, I think I can just sit down on here and play the drums through here and Lizzie's just gonna sing so I get the mic out too. Yawning. <laughs> All right, it is time to play. Lizzie just got signed by a label. No, I didn't. Yeah, huh? You're professionally signed by Rock Band. <laughs> is that your donut dance? As you eat a donut? <laughs> Fruit <laughs> salad. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> you fucking choking on a donut. <laughs> you good? Why is this so funny? Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. You don't remember that? I do. <laughs> but I had nothing to do with her stomach. I know, but you were like rubbing your stomach. <laughs> you ready to play? Oh, yeah. <coughs> <laughs> How do you keep fucking choking? <laughs> Dude, this is the second time this has fucking happened. Get some water, man. <laughs> it's not funny. Dude, maybe you should just stop eating donuts. Fruit salad, um. yummy, yummy. <laughs> she chokes on a donut and she still continues to eat it. Can we start? <laughs> I've been trying to. We've been trying to play this for like the past 20 minutes now. I'm not even kidding, guys. Expert. <laughs> We just wrapped up a little bit of Rock Band. I didn't record too much of it. To be 100% honest, I kept fucking up a lot. I haven't played within the past couple of months and I was still trying to warm up. But anyway, me and Lizzie are gonna head down to the pool right now. It's gonna get changed really quick. And me and Lizzie just came outside. We're gonna go in the pool. It's probably freezing. Probably. <laughs> At least the hot tub feels nice. It's so hot. I know, it's burning. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> You're not getting your hair wet today? Nope. I don't feel like washing it again. What if I wet it? Oh. I'm kidding, I'm You're not. You're so good at doing that. <laughs> I mean, it's not that hard, you just splash water. That's your talent, making my hair wet. <laughs> yeah, my unknown talent. Lizzie fell asleep. Yo. Oh my god. Wake up, sleepyhead. You know you fell asleep? Your back's probably burnt. It's okay. You don't care? I'm a ghost anyway. You're a ghost? Now you gotta get some color and be burnt. Yep. And get sun poisoning, remember that? Let's not go back to that. <laughs> if you guys don't remember this, me and Lizzie told you this before, we had sun poisoning one summer. It was so bad. We woke up the next morning and we had all these blisters all over our face. Our entire face was like swollen like crazy. We both, what'd you say? I was in the hospital for hours just getting 
fluids run through me and everything. Yeah, we both had to go to the hospital for it. It was that bad. They had to give us like inflammation steroids so our face would stop swelling up so much. My face was so swollen, I looked like I was having a really bad allergic reaction to something. Yeah, like, it was bad. We'll have to, I have pictures. We'll have to find pictures of you and show them. Yeah, I never want to go back to that. <laughs> oh, I guess my flip flops are like roasting in the sun. They are burning hot right now. We're going to head back upstairs right now so we can start getting ready for dinner because we have to leave here in like an hour. So that should give us enough time to get ready and everything. What were you saying? I feel like I just need a day to sleep. I know, me too. My mom called me at 6 a.m. this morning to wake me up and I had to talk to her about something very important. And I was on the phone for like 30 minutes with her and I just couldn't go back to sleep. So I've been up since 6 a.m. I told you guys yesterday that I really needed sleep. I really, really need it now. It's bad. The back bed yet? No. Get it will be later, get definitely. Get in the shower, you'll see it. That's what usually happens to me. Like if I get sunburn, I don't see it right away, but once I get a shower. It's so weird. Yeah. Like you rinse it off. That's weird. Your face is red though. Definitely got sunburn on your cheeks. It's weird, I was laying on my stomach. <laughs> Gonna be rocking the Yeezys today. I saw a picture online and apparently they're supposed to be coming out with all white Yeezys and they look so fucking sick. I really wanna try and cop a pair of those when they first come out, but it's probably gonna be almost like impossible. I'm gonna have to sit there on like 40 websites at one time like trying to get it. But me and Lizzie really need to leave right now or we're gonna be late for this dinner. So you ready? Yeah. Always doing her makeup. <laughs> so of course we're getting ready to leave and Lizzie has to run back inside because she thought she left her straightener on. You got it? Yeah, it's been on for like an hour. I'm always paranoid that I didn't though. We're going to this place called Danton. It's apparently it's like a little Italian restaurant. Should be good. Lizzie just got in the car and she was like, do I get to sit up front again? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a blessing when she can sit up front. <laughs> I hate sitting in the back because when you're up here with the windows down, the wind goes back there and I'm just like... <laughs> Yeah, it all hits you and your freaking hair goes, goes all over the place. Yep. <laughs> Dude, they're blasting 1D hard as fuck. Alright, so me and Lizzie just got here. It's funny because I showed up at the same exact time that my manager showed up. We actually parked right next to each other. As I'm parking, I see him pull up next to me. I was like, oh, let me back up because there was two parking spots available. So I got lucky with parking. Usually there's like no parking available in the city, man. This table is so small, the menu is literally almost the size of it. We all got spaghetti and meatballs. I got Balinese sauce, she got meat sauce, and he got marinara sauce. We also got some cheesy garlic bread as well. It's like bomb. Just wrapped up dinner. I am absolutely full. I completely cleared my plate. Like there was not even like almost any meat left on my plate. I was starving. I finished it all. I was so surprised on how much I ate. I had two noodles left. And I, I, I have room for dessert. Yeah, she usually has to get a box and bring it home. <laughs> Didn't happen this time. I feel in so much of a better mood right now than I did earlier today. I think it's just because I haven't eaten all day since this morning. Mm -hmm. And I had like a corn muffin. I was about it. And it was making me feel like really drowsy the entire day. But I feel good now. Crackhead alert. She's talking to nobody. Who is she talking to? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Guys, please do me a huge favor and never do crack because you'll end up like that lady. Dude, she was talking to nobody and she was calling them a fruit looking cocksucking motherfucker. <laughs> That's what she said. What? Like, <laughs> she's never experienced a crackhead before. <laughs> Dude, I literally shot a prank on Hollywood Boulevard like two years ago. A crackhead comes up to me and says, I can make your dick hard. Out of nowhere. What the fuck? Says it straight to my face. You know what? I'm actually going to put that clip in this video for you guys to see. I'm going to put it right now. Watch this shit. <laughs> Somebody got towed. That fucking sucks, man. I'd be so pissed if that was me. That's a blacked out BMW i8. That is sexy as fuck. Oh my gosh. I just stopped in like the middle of a road to show you guys that. That was the sexiest fucking shit. I've never seen a blacked out i8 before. That was really cool looking. Yo, she is so quick. I literally just got home. I went to the bathroom. I come out. I didn't even notice until I sat down. She changes her outfit. 
Dude, like, she changes so much. I can't be in jeans that much. I love being cozy. Oh my gosh. Alright, so my friend Aiden is on his way over here right now. I want him to try out this hover cart thing. Listen, guys, he's the clumsiest person I've ever met in my entire life. So I know damn well he's gonna bust his ass on this thing and it is gonna be hilarious. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm waiting on Lizzie because she had to go to the bathroom and then as soon as she's done, we're gonna go downstairs and grab him really quick. Yeah, I'm peeing. You're peeing? Yes, and watching your vlog. She's watching my vlog and peeing at the same time. Yo, look what you're about to try. Let me try that right now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, try now. I'm gonna shit. Yeah. Yo, Aiden's gonna bust his ass. It's gonna be funny. <laughs> so you guys know that every single time I've ridden this thing, or one of my friends have rode it, we have done it in this parking lot. Now the only bad thing about riding in this parking lot is Aiden himself. <laughs> He's such a fucking klutz. He you fuck guys know me. I'm one of the clumsiest people you ever meet. So. Bro, it's so bad. But the good thing is, it's dark out right now, and there's like no cars in this parking lot. So the chances of him hitting a fucking car in this parking lot is like very slim. It's but I guarantee, happen. but I guarantee it'll still happen. <laughs> <laughs> so let's set this thing up and try it out. Alright, so I'm not going to show him how to do it. He's just going to hop on it and do it. Don't get too cocky yet. Good first try. I'll pop a wheelie. No, sure. Yeah, you can. I don't want to do that. What happens if it goes top speed? Is that okay? Yeah, go go top speed. Okay. Dude, you're flying. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Isn't that fucking sick? Yo, this thing is crazy, bro. You're the only person that hasn't fallen off yet. Really? Yeah. Do some more. Don't get hit. Pop them wheelies. I wanna cheese Oh! Oh! Dude, you just did like a burnout. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you couldn't stop. What the heck is that? That was crazy. Did you see the spark? No. It's like the wheel spark. What is happening? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Fucking ghost board. No. Oh. What is happening? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. 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 Stop. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> It's going backwards. Come on. Come over here. I'll, I'll guide you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's out to attack. Oh, fuck. Ghost ride the whip. Yo, let's play fucking Russian roulette with this. Yeah, okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, uh, that really hurt my head. Oh. Lance, don't let it hit this car. Oh. You're going out of control. Shit. So I guess when Aiden rode this, this cracked right here. You see that? That just fell off. <laughs> Aiden still managed to break it nah, somehow. Chill, fam. You broke this one. <laughs> it's all good. How are you going to blame it on someone else when I'm you don't playing. even know? It's a prototype. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm going to ride it still. Yeah. All right, so we tried fixing the levers. Let's see it in action. I just went. I got it, but I, but I spun out. It already feels good. It's sketchy as fuck. It's like Mario Kart. My hands on it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I think we're done with this thing, man. Oh my God. <laughs> it's too sketchy now. We like broke it more than it was already. Dude, Aiden's running after some dude that just fucking stole his bag. Oh. He didn't see which way he went, did he? No, I don't know where he went. What the fuck? I saw the guy come over here, but I didn't think he was doing anything over here. What the fuck? Did you put that Dodger jacket on? I, I, yeah. Fuck, we're, we're trying to figure out which way this dude went. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding yeah. me, this uh, fucking well, sucks. Don't leave the other Yeah, I'm gonna grab the board real quick and then try and find him. Aiden has no idea what to fucking do right now, he's pissed. We're trying to look for this dude. That we're all going different directions right now to try and find him. He had a lot of important shit in that bag, like his wallet. Good thing is his phone on him. But, dude, what the fuck, man? 
Like he's got his ID and everything. There's no way he could have went this far. I don't fucking know where he is. We're, we're searching everywhere for this dude. <sighs> I came back and checked the same location to see if maybe he dropped it back off after he like took money out or something, if that's what he needed. But no sign of this bag anywhere. Oh, here's that blacked out I-8 again though. <laughs> that is sexy. This fucking sucks for Aiden, man. So stupid. We're just trying to have some fun riding the hover cart and his bag gets stolen. All right, so now we ran into another issue. Aiden's phone died and we can't get in contact with him. We have no idea where he is. All right, well, we found Aiden, but we can't find the bag. So I just pulled the footage up on my laptop. This right here is the fucking dude who stole the bag. Aiden's bag is laying on the ground. This dude was like stalking us. And as soon as I was running away with Aiden while I was recording him on the board, Lizzie was sitting here talking to Ron and this dude fucking walks away. I'm gonna skim through the footage. And look, the dude's right fucking there, walking away. Right there, walking away with Aiden's bag. So fucking stupid, man. You guys can't even see what he looks like. But he was looking back at us, making sure we weren't looking at him. He's on the phone right now, trying to get this shit situated. He had to cancel all of his cards, and he's trying to get new ones. Yep. Stupid. What sucks as well is that Aiden's keys for his apartment were in that bag. Yeah. So I don't know how the hell you're gonna get in. I told him he can stay the night if he needs to, or as long as he wants to, but... I'll be able to get in. Yeah. I'll probably ask my manager or something. Does he put ice in his cup at 3 o'clock and it still has ice in it? It's 7 hours later. That thing really compresses that good. Whoever sent me this cup, thank I mean, it wasn't a Shannon. I'm yeah. pretty sure it was Shannon. Thank you so much. I love this thing. Yeah. That's insane. Aiden just left right now. He's gonna head over to the police station and file a report. That just sucks, man. He had to cancel all of his cards. He had a credit card and debit card that he canceled. He lost his license. Luckily, he does have a passport, so he can use that as ID for right now. Until he gets back to New Jersey so he can get a new license over there. But I really need to end this vlog right now and get some sleep. I've barely been getting any sleep for the past couple days. You guys know this already. I've been complaining about it. <laughs> but if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so never miss a new video. And we will see you guys next time. Ow. <laughs> Fuck. Yo! Why are you... Oh. Why are you vlogging while you're going down this fucking- I don't know, because I wanted the experience and I just fucking fell.